Welcome to the first episode of the John Boy Media Trivia Show. Our guest today is Lucas Giolito, White Sox stud, no hitter this season. Thanks for joining us. How you doing? I'm doing well, guys. Good to see you. Have you have you competed at any trivia previously? Do you have any trivia experience? Yeah, I, I have a good friend, Cody Decker, longtime baseball player. He ran a bar trivia uh, in our hometown of Santa Monica for a number of years, and I would go weekly. Okay. So I I was okay. I I tried to do some research here, here and there. It was all pop culture, movies, and TV, so I'd have good days and bad days. Are you good at recall at your own game? Because that's the first round here. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. It's sometimes <laughs> yeah. I think it's a very hard question and the players have gotten it easily. Sometimes I think it's very easy and the players don't get it. So it's hard for us to know what players remember and don't remember. But the first round is five questions about your playing career. You get a chance to score five points. Second round is Jeopardy style trivia and the third round is special. Ten points available. Seven points. Jake and I have to eat. Miss Bong fish sausage fish cake Add. Uh, from the Korean market in my town. Uh, we're not sure what this uh, really is, if it's cake or sausage. We had to research how do you eat it, and yeah. can you eat it without cooking it. So Wow. Yeah, I I love Korean food. I like the fish cakes that you get like at a Korean barbecue prior to like the main meal you know if you guys have been to like they sit don't, down they don't look like they don't look like this they no they don't look like that at all <laughs> okay. so that's kind of scary to me <laughs> okay all right same for us question number one you made your debut on june 28th 2016 which starter did you share the mound with oh man oh it was matt harvey yes that correct, is correct. Yeah. one point on the board and that was kind of like matt harvey matt harvey you know. Yeah, I, I I stepped in the box against him. I think I had one AB before the rain hit. And yeah, the game got suspended in like the fourth or fifth inning. And he was still in like heavy 98-99. I think I grounded out to first. I don't know how I made contact. Had you, well, you were with the Nationals, so you had hit in the minors or you were prepared at least knowing you had hit? Uh, I went from double A to the big leagues. In double A's when national league teams start having their pitchers hit in games uh before that it's all dh so i had had like a few the only way you hit in the minor leagues is if a national league team is facing a national league team uh that's the only way anytime an american league team is involved the dh gets thrown in in the minors hmm. so i had a, maybe a handful of ab's in the minors with zero hits i didn't have my first professional hit until i got to the big leagues Wow. That's pretty that? cool. I'm Man. still waiting for that moment. Yeah, it's coming. All right, one for one. Man, some of the kids probably don't remember Harvey days. Like, they were a thing. They oh, were yeah. a thing. But we're over the dark it now. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe he has some of those now. Question number two. Billy Hamilton has okay. stepped into the box against you 13 times. How many times has he reached first base? 13 1 Final answer? Yes. It is Damn. 0. You've never oh, you've I I could I could have sworn I walked him once. I I knew I like was fairly positive I'd never given up a hit to him, but I really thought that I'd walked him or like hit him with a pitch once. I think that's the most at bats against you without ever reaching first. So that's a good guy to keep off first good base guy. as well. So good job there, but bad job yeah. in the trivia. Good job. In yeah, the you, you give him you give him first. It's pretty much you're giving him second. So, all right. Question number three: Your high school roster included three future major league pitchers, all of whom were first round picks. Yourself, Max Freed, and Jack Flaherty. In your senior season, Max started twelve games. Jack mm -hmm. started eight games. You started three games. Two mm -hmm. other players got starts. Who were they? Okay. You can phone a friend wow. if you want. I. All right. Does I'm he have to get both? Well, it seems harder now, but you. Okay. We'll see where he lands. Can I do phone a friend? Yes. Yeah. I, I have an idea, but I want to get it right. Okay. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Max. Okay. 
Do you think Max is going to pick up first try? Is Max a first try pickup guy? Generally, if he's not busy. Okay. Like and a you little want him on speaker, like into the yeah, yeah, that yeah that'd be ideal. Behind the scenes, you had to recruit Max for his senior season at the high school, right? You, oh, wow. Max. What's up? What up? I am currently live on the John Boy. What is it? John media Boy trivia, trivia show. The trivia John, show. The John Boy Media Trivia Show. I'm using you as a, a phone a friend. Okay. All right. <laughs> the question is. Uh, our senior season at Harvard Westlake, you started 12 games. Jack started eight. Jack started eight. I started three. There are two other pitchers on our team that started a game. Correct? Is that the question? Yes. Game, yeah. be, and I have to name two. Yeah, the two guys that started games besides me, you, and Jack. My senior year. Our senior year. Yes. Uh, Hans Hansen and Brandon Deer. Correct. Wow. wow. Yes. <laughs> I knew. Yes, I knew you would know it. I knew you would know it. And he was only with those kids for one year. What'd you say? I said, I'm glad I was able to help. Yes. Thank you, brother. All right, Thanks, I'll talk Max. to you later. Huge. See ya. <laughs> Hans Hansen. Hans Hansen. Good name. Huge yeah. name. Han Hans Hansen. He went to, uh, he went and played Division Three at uh, the school in Atlanta. Um, why Emory. am I blanking on the name of the, the college? Emory. Emory, yes. Emory University. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, Brandon Deere ended up going to Michigan. Uh, no no more baseball for him. And and someone, there was, I looked at the roster, there was a kid who lit it up with the bat that went to USC. You guys had a great, great team. Joe Corrigan, right? Yeah, I don't know his name. I only wrote down. There was also Alex Rand Lewis and Alex Horowitz pitched innings, but they yes. didn't get starts. So shout yes. out to Harvard Westlake. Yeah. yeah, that's great. All right, you're uh, two for three now. Wow, three. huge, huge call. Huge. Which one? Which one were you questionable out before before you called Matt? So I a hundred percent knew Brandon Deer. The other one, I was between Hans Hansen and Alex Rand Lewis. Okay. So I wanted, I knew Max would know. So <laughs> that was beautiful. All right. Yeah. Your fourth question. Sorry to bring this up. You have given up 74 home runs in your big league career. According to Baseball Savant, how many of those 74 came off curveballs? We have options for you. Oh. Two, four, eight, or 12. Two, four, eight, or twelve. Um. Uh, oh God. Out of seventy-four homers. Yep. Eight. Wrong. Dang only, it, man. only, only four. Ah, only four. trust it's yourself. I, like, it's, I, I thought. Okay, never mind. It's Cruz, Benintendi, Hicks, and Scooter Jeanette. Yeah, I, I've i given up a number of home runs to Nelson Cruz, and I thought that it, more were curveballs. Everyone okay. everyone has. That's not a bad guy to do it with, if we're yeah. being honest. All right, so you're two for four. I did uh, This next one I think is pretty hard. So final question. You have pitched in 86 games and 489 innings. How many different catchers have you thrown to? Okay. Um, I can just list them off real quick in my head. I'll give you a hint. There is one on here that's only two innings from one game. Oh man. So if you don't get If that in, one doesn't happen, we can maybe we'll we can allow cut it the book. that one. I think it's 6. Are you well? It's seven, but I think we'll give it to you because we're 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 being nice here with uh, Pedro Severino uh, two inning. Oh yes. When was that? Yeah, it was like a relief appearance in September in 2016. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, count. I don't know why you'd remember that. that. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, yeah, because I I was like immediately I got the White Sox guys four, and then uh, Wilson Ramos and. 
I believe Jose Lobatone with the Nationals. We don't have him. We have Castillo, Grandal, McCann, Narvaez, Ramos. Oh, yeah, Castillo. My bad. Yeah. I, I mix them up. Okay, Castillo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Kevin Smith and Severino for two inning. We'll give it to you. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah, point. Severino. I I pitched I pitched a good amount to Sevi in triple A, and I totally forgot that I threw to him in the big leagues. He kind of raked right. this year. Did you see any of that? Severino. See any what? Severino raked this year. He was like nasty. Oh, for the Orioles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's always he's always swung a good bat, man. He's also yeah. very energetic behind home plate, always like pumping his <laughs> yep. pitchers up, screaming and yelling and doing all that yep. dance. Yep, I want the curveball in the dirt. I want yeah, the yeah. curveball in the dirt. <laughs> all right, after the first round, you have two and a half points. We're moving on to round number two. All right, in round number two, we have four categories for you to choose from. You get to answer four questions from these categories. You can double down on a category if you think you're doing well, or you can take one question from each. Jake, can you tell them what the categories are? The categories are Name That Lucas, Frost Films, mm. What's That Sound, and Name That Hat. I'll take Frost Films first. Okay. Any any reasoning why you're taking that? Because I have a feeling it will have something to do with uh, my mom's side, uh, acting and writing and producing and directing and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. And your middle name is Frost. Yes. After my your mom's, mom's side, maiden yes. name. All right. Frost Films. A journalist must investigate a mysterious videotape which seems to cause the death of anyone one week to the day after they view it. What movie is that? What is, what is The Ring? Correct. Your mom was in The Ring. Didn't did you yep. watch that? You had to be pretty young when that it came, came out. out. Well, it came out when I was very young, and I've never been into horror movies, so I just have like never gotten around to watching it. I watched that on a date in seventh grade. It was yeah, nice. that was like perfect timing for us. It yes. was like kind of mysterious. Like parents didn't want you to watch it, but yeah. you, you middle, might die. Middle school, seven p.m. showing. A long Ooh, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grabbing boobs. All yeah. right. Now you can stay in Frost <laughs> Films or you could go to What's That Sound, Name That Hat, or Name That Lucas. I'd like to stay in Frost Films. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Confident about that. I am. In the 1913 U.S. Open, 20 year, 20 year old Francis Umet, played by Shia LaBeouf, faces mm -hmm. off against his idol. 1900 U.S. Open champion English Englishman Harry Varden. Yep. What is that flick? Uh, what is the greatest game ever played? Correct. That is correct. Your that uncle, is correct. your uncle wrote that book, which is basically he wrote. On. He wrote the book and then he wrote the screenplay for Disney, and I got to go to the premiere and meet Shia LaBeouf, who wow. I was a gigantic fan of at the time. Because of the movie Holes, mm. yeah, I'm a big big. Chai makes good movies. Dedicates himself. He's still, oh yeah, still does. Uh, I thought that um, the what the last couple that came out, uh, Peanut Butter Falcon and Honey Boy. I thought both of those were brilliant. I love Peanut Butter Falcon. That movie, the greatest game ever played, is why I say the phrase "easy peasy lemon squeezy" a lot. Because his he had this little fat caddy, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Can we make this putt and look?" It's like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Henry, the whole time. Yeah. Have you have you and Shia interacted since then? No. Okay. No, I, he was like sitting like during the premiere in the theater. He was just like sitting one row and a couple seats over to the right. And my uncle was like, hey, Shia, Shia, meet my nephew. And that was it. Shook hands. And I was like, hey, big fan. I was like, what year did it come out? I'm going to guess that one came out in 2008. But that's a total guess. No, it, was, it had to be before 2008. 2006. I think I, was, I think I was like 12, yeah, around there. 2003. Oh, wow. wow. Dumb by me. How about that? <laughs> All right, you got two points. You're two for two. There's two questions left in this round. Frost Films is off the board. Good job in Frost Films. Good job, yeah. You have a total of four and a half points. Yes. What category right, what would you like next? Name that Lucas, what? what's that sound, or name that hat? Let's go to name that Lucas. All right. Okay. Mm. 
It's right there. He led the league in complete games with 28 and whip with a 1.204 for the Cincinnati Reds in 1929. Oh, no. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, uh, I, I have no idea. All right, I'll read it again. Wait. He led the league in complete games with 28 and whip with 1.204 for the Cincinnati Reds in 1929. This was our ace in the hole in case you were doing too well. Our yeah, our my or my baseball trivia is not great personally. You um, don't know the I 1929 know. Reds roster? No. <laughs> this is right before the Great Depression. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh who is uh Lucas Jenkins? I don't know. Close. I, I'll, Close. There's no it was way actually I'll ever his, it was actually it. his Good nephew. Guess. Red Lucas. <laughs> What is it? Red Lucas. Oh, Red Lucas. I was Lucas. giving you all the hints in the world there. The Cincinnati First name is Red. Red. Yeah, okay. That's a trick. Yeah. It was a trick. That yeah. was maybe the toughest question in the batch. <laughs> so we're sorry, but that's we're not okay. at all. You have one more. You're, you're two for three. Name that hat. What's that sound? Name that Lucas. What's that? Name that hat. What's that sound? Let's go with uh, name that hat. Okay. Ooh. Name that hat it is. All right. We're going to name that hat. I will show you an image of the hat. You tell me what kind of hat it is. Okay. <laughs> what is a fireman's cap? Correct. That is correct. correct. Great that job. is correct. That is a fireman's hat. Really, go. really good job there. Um, so we went from Red Lucas <laughs> in 1929 to... <laughs> A fireman's hey, hat. We don't know your knowledge of hats. Oh, we yes. don't know your knowledge of baseball. You'd be surprised how many people on the streets of the Bronx got this wrong. Yeah. No, I wouldn't ask. No, that's one. not true. <laughs> okay, how many points does he have, producer Bug Bug dude? Lucas, you're sitting at five and a half points. Lucky for you, the final round today is worth one and a half points. God damn it! Damn. You're in mm. range of seven. All right, the okay. final round. You have to figure out if it's me or Jake. So the answers are Jake. Or Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Which one of us peed their pants while in mid-conversation with their aunt at age 22? I say Jake. Wrong! You think that? You think that? Yeah. You think that? Ice Luge was out at a graduation party. Congra at a graduation party. Congratulations! Congratulations! Um, back out drunk, pissed my pants. Mid convo. Uh, mid convo. Oh, we lost your audio. You do. Uh... Hello, hello. Oh, oh there we, we go. got you now. I am so sorry. I slammed my desk in frustration, <laughs> and when I do that, sometimes it like knocks the uh, headset receiver, and there you go. It's but, beautiful. It was damn. Me. I am. I mean, it was a fifty-fifty toss-up, and I got it wrong. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, that's it, that could have been either one of us. I. Uh, you may have done that. I have don't probably remember. done that, but I. It was just that no face record. you were making. You were yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. ugly. Just yeah. ugly. It's All right, man. Thank you very much for playing. I'm glad we don't have to eat the fish sausage cake. We might have to next week. Stay tuned for episode number two, three, four, five, or whatever it is. 